Okay, here we go. Lex. Theon, uh... Duronki. Uh, but today I've got Noah with me again, so he's gonna help us through our designs that we've been working on. And hopefully we get them done. We can do it. We can do it. It's possible. It is very possible. Okay. So we are gonna have a selection modal. User will pick a box based on criteria important to them. Okay, so what would be <clears throat> the criteria for selection? Cost, CPU cores, RAM, uh, disk, and that's really it. Because we can't, I don't think we can anticipate anything beyond that. Uh, then display results to user on right hand side. And then when selected, move to next screen, which is asking if they want a cluster or a single instance. Now we're definitely seeing this as a modal and I don't think we're gonna, this may be more of an inline modal. You're gonna launch it from a screen like this where you're seeing all your live stuff, but you're also gonna have to launch it from a screen like back here where you're setting your hosting provider. So it's gonna have to be like a broken away from the UI modal. All right, let's pretend we're scaling maybe web main. I'm just using this to get started. I think a lot of this stuff's gonna dump real quick. Okay, so we just need to get sliders in and then a list next to the sliders. Wondering how small we can get away with here. Cause I think for some of the hosting providers, this is gonna look like vapid. And you're gonna be like, why are all these things? There's only four boxes I can select from, you know? But for others, and by others, I mean AWS, this is like gonna be the only way you can navigate their freaking hosting catalog. So true. So we're kind of have this thing over here that'll be like fixed, and then this will be scrollable. So let's start. I guess we'll do the side first. Get a little separation in here. There's just so much intelligence I'd want to see. Like I just, I just, I just keep thinking. Like, well, I know the component name. I would want to see the stats, right? Like I almost think that's like, that's that's connected in such a hard way where I'd like want to know this stuff. Cause that's gonna determine like how much scaling I'm gonna do. What we what would we actually need to know? Probably the CPU, RAM and disc. That'd be the big criteria. That's what we can select on. So what would happen if we grab those three things and then sort of like place them right here with it and maybe even have like the additional information that comes from this. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna grab this from this. And then we'll uh, do the thing that I love to do. Gotta love it. You gotta, you gotta be into this. Okay. Well, let's work through the filtering. Okay. So the big one was cost. That seems pretty easy. Uh, we need to do some nice looking sliders. So we should probably pr have a track. So I'm just sort of spacing this out in my head. Um, little tracky boy. Probably some feedback that would say what the number was that you selected. This is your grabby handle. I'll say it's grabby handle to right there. Oh, okay. What are your thoughts? I'm liking the slider layout. Um, I'm going to be very curious how you plan on like, it's like, first off, I should, are, we should probably note on here what provider they're selecting from. Damn. How'd we miss that? That's not looking too bad. No, I think that that looks actually really good. Okay. So we've done it. We've got the left side doing it's what it needs to do. I'm just going to pump this up just a little tiny bit. So are we doing the design for the table right now or are we just leaving that with the table we know what it looks like? You know, I kind of don't care. <laughs> I just, maybe I mean, we should. I think, maybe we I, think should. We, I think we're good without the table design. I think what best thing you can do is probably just put the schema there. Yeah, let's put the, exactly. Okay. So we're gonna do a second screen on this thing, right? Yeah, you were saying how you have some nice big master plan for that. I have ideas. <laughs> I don't know if they're good ideas. It's not like a master plan, okay? Let's not get into, the, don't use those things together. It's, a, it's more like a final solution. Um, 
and what we're gonna do is, I think we're just gonna visualize the scaling process, that's all. Ooh, we're getting some funk. Oh, it's happened. Are we treasure mapping? We lost the interface, yeah. Ugh. Let's give it a second. Let's give it a second. Oh no, if we lost this whole thing, has, and I haven't saved it out yet. Oh no. It looks like it's gonna recover. I think it's gonna recover. Oh man. Billion dollar company. Lovely. So the trick is gonna be like, how do we get it to come back? Cause it's not in a non-responsive state. Right, so I think before we just manually save, like we just did the, the, the control S type thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <Just>. Come on. <laughs> come on. Work with me here. So it looks like the dialogues inside of Illustrator are what's breaking. They're not showing up. Let it sit. Like, just let see, it I ride. still have like context menus. Right, yeah. So I think the program is still there. Yeah, it's definitely still here. I, and it's right there. So there's a slice tool. I can open and close. Cl what is going on? Oh, 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 we got it. Okay, save, save. You have to save. I just hit the button. It's the rules. Oh, got something. This is like the most unreal thing ever. Yeah, this is like a legit crash crash. It's not crashing. Which is weird. It's not crashed yet, but... Yeah. Uh, okay, so save didn't work, I don't think. No. Okay, so... We'll do a so save one thing as, but I think that's going to do... A, the internal dialogues are all gone. That's what's, that's what's going on here. Oh, no. So do you want to try something spicy? No. Well, that was the save. And Explorer just crashed. There we go. We got the save in. Yeah, something's going on with this. I mean, it just, it, it, we have a saved file, so I'm gonna close it now. But something's definitely screwy with Illustrator. Like, real screwy. And oh, I, I 100% agree. Yeah, it looks like we got the, the save. Yep. Yep. Whew. Okay. So, what, what, what were we doing? <laughs> we probably need to pull this over and make a copy of it. Yeah. We'll X these things out. You've already selected your box. We'll display the box. So if you have a single instance host, you just would select that and then it does nothing. Like boom, okay, launch it. Now you have your multi-instance host, which will actually maybe just be a slider. What I want to do is have like some way to show this. So that would be like two boxes, whatever. Just whatever the number is. in like a nice little circle and then draw connecting points to the center. So does this need to be a, this needs to be a picker, right? Like it's like one or the other. If you're here, this will highlight. If not, you can come back and like tap that thing. Okay, so my thought would be like, maybe you keep that panel intact, but now you show you've picked, like then you say box stats or whatever. So you're like, okay, I'm on AWS. I have a T3A large. This is the number of CPU cores I selected. This is the RAM. This is the storage. Then maybe down at the bottom, you have your launch control. Then over here, we have all this space to show them what the scale would look like, I guess. The general idea is now we'll come over here and this will be like, select a thing, right? Uh, right. So we'll go, there's your single instance. There's your horizontal cluster. This is a scale. It comes out to here tinier get smaller cortana make circle smaller i should do a whole stream <laughs> right do that and actually do the things but silence my mouse that would be funny convince people that we're using cortana <laughs> <laughs> oh no cortana is just some lady i hired she just runs the mouse for me bear with me things are about to happen your mind's about to get blown I believe it. So we have a constellation up here. And then this thing shoots, as you scale over, this will put nodes into the constellation. And then those items will rotate. I am loving it. Like they're in orbit. And then we'll all put a connection point right to the center thing. Uh, so let me ask you, can you just put a plus button on this? Does it need to be a slider? 
Yeah, I don't think it needs to be a slider. I think you can totally just add an add. Okay. So a green plus button or something. Yeah, what we'll do is like this will be a selection thing, and maybe yeah, this far thing is the plus button. You add, you hit that. We'll pulse an object down this track and then shoot it up this way. That's insane. I don't know if that makes is going to make any sense to anybody, but that's going to be my uh, my fun part of the project. I like it. I, I I pretty much do this orbiting thing in every product I've ever built. Okay, so we're going to say this is probably unselected, but we need a way to kind of define in this single instance thing. So I think I'm going to make an outline circle. And then um, let's just put like a square. And then we'll take that square and now hold on to your butts because this might work, it might not. Well, it looks okay. It is a box. <laughs> it is one. Was the box the right call? Who knows, but it is a kind of box. So all I'm trying to do though is just give the idea of like, that's a single instance, right? Just a box. Yeah, for sure. And then the horizontal cluster will do the same thing to you, but this one will be highlighted. Now, I wonder if I just draw the constellation here. Man, I feel like we're drawing carbon nanotubes right now and I love it. Carbon nanotubes, man. Okay, and then you've selected the horizontal cluster. So over here, we're gonna write add node. <laughs> this is like the dumbest thing I think I've ever made. I'm sitting here hitting all the buttons. Like, <laughs> I've been sitting here for 25 minutes because we need 300 of these. I wish there was just a button I could click that would let me add them all at once. No, there's not, sir. DevOps should be funny. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be single click one because if you fat finger putting in a number like 10 versus 100, you just killed your bill real quick. Sure. Yeah. That's my justification. I want cool design. <laughs> <laughs> Is this even usable? <laughs> As I'm like working yeah, through this. Like if I came to the screen and I saw a big green button that said add node. Yeah, okay, I get it. I, I put white text on a white background. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <Fun time>. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we got this. Then we say cost estimation. Do this and then this and then say like T3A large, those are pretty expensive. We'll just say uh, $68, it's probably gonna be some weird per month. And then say times number of boxes. I'm gonna have to find some better words for that. So you smack that button and then this collapses into a rocket ship uh, and like just starts shaking the screen. And, yeah, then we're um, good. Did we just, uh, is the design done? I think design is, is done for the foreseeable future. Okay. Well then I guess the next step is development. Yup. Gonna have to actually make this thing work now.